Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Owl and here we are continuing our series where we're looking at what miniatures are currently available to buy for different factions uh, to be used in Warhammer the Old World for when the rules are released uh, for those of you that are not interested in Bretonians or Tomb Kings. We've covered so far Beastmen and Demons who are in a particularly good spot in terms of plenty of miniatures available. Uh, Dark Elves not far behind, however Dwarves not doing great and I can tell you Empire are doing even worse with the miniatures that they have available. So um, uh, we don't have access to the rule books at this time so in terms of this is the what I believe is useful content for us to look at which is um, Bretonian and Tomb Kings route we don't know how long it's going to be before we see releasing of the other core factions and for the legacy factions we know uh, they're not getting any new miniatures or anything so what is currently available is what you've got to play with so it's good to look at how much is out there plus a lot of people have been talking about oh well they've only released Bretonian and Tomb Kings there's not much else um, but actually, if you really delve into the Age of Sigmar line, you can see there's plenty of models in there that, that uh, are either the old fantasy ones or are uh, reimaginings of. So without further ado, let's jump into the Empire and see what you can buy today. So first up is the General of the Empire on Griffin. It's listed as a free guild General on Griffin. It's a dual kit with a Sorcerer Lord and also can make Karl Franz as well. Um, but General of the Empire... Uh, the only thing you're lacking here generally is, is is actually the options. You know, the General of the Empire in the 8th edition book, at least, came with plenty of different options in terms of weaponry as well as mounts. So you're only getting him on the mount. So a, uh, a big kit, pricey kit, um, just to get a General, but maybe you want to field your, your General on a monster uh, as, a, as a melee character. And, and to be honest, in from what I've seen of the rules so far, um, not a terrible option. There are still cannons and stuff about um, but uh, not a terrible option to have your melee. I think I'd prefer the melee uh, lord to a sorcerer lord um, on a, a big mount like this. But uh, but anyway, this is available uh, to get. So uh, a second of the lords is the battle wizard lord, and this is the dual kit here where you get the Battle Wizard Lord on the Griffin as well. Uh, now, he was restricted in 8th edition with the law that he could choose, restricted to Law of Beasts. I don't know if that's going to be the same uh, for Warhammer the Old World. You have to check with someone who has the rules. Um, but suffice to say, that miniature is still available. Uh, uh, but also you have the Collegiate Arcane Mystic Battle Wizards. So this is based on the schools of magic and the colleges of magic from that, that aren't in the old world because they haven't been formed yet. However, you get four wizards in here, and I'm sure uh, with the variety that you get in that set, uh, you can make them match uh, the laws that we see in Warhammer the Old World. So giving you plenty of options there for a Battle Wizard Lord. And as the same, you can use those same guys to make just normal battle wizard heroes as well. So as I said there, um, uh, plenty of choice. Next up, in terms of heroes, you can make a witch hunter. Um, however, they're not listed as witch hunter. It's listed as a Galen and Duralia Vendent. These are awesome looking models. Um, if witch hunters make it into the Empire army roster which i don't know um then i uh, if they do then i will be taking these miniatures as my witch hunters i think they look really good um really cool miniatures so um definitely something to consider if that's your if, if you're wanting a witch hunter in your uh, force so there is no core available that's your halberdiers and uh, and your archers and all that sort of stuff so that's uh, particularly um, particularly a pain having no core infantry available at all uh, for me personally this list was put together with the aim of having minimal conversion um, in it so yes you know there's cities of sigma stuff out there but yes i do think it will look very weird um, when the full empire um, stuff is re released and re-released um, i don't think that it will fit at all so which is why i haven't listed any of the other um uh, cities and new cities of sigma stuff however with um the great cannon here uh the only thing the crew might not be the best crew uh you might need to change that out just to make it fit with the aesthetic but take this big plate off and some of these extra bits and actually this could easily function um as a great cannon so when you actually go and look at this and you can spin it around and everything else um as this as a great cannon uh, absolutely does does work so uh, no reason why that that couldn't fit that slot in the special area 
Uh, and then you're into rare. So the uh, only rare option you've got here is the steam tank. So we know these are in. Uh, it's been talked about in Warhammer articles. Well, this is still available um, and it is the actual model. So uh, steam tank there um, is the and then the, and is the last option. Yes, there is the Celestial Hurricane and Illuminarch of Hish, which are in the 8th edition book. But um, from what we understand, they're definitely not in Warhammer the Old World. Uh, again, that was talked about in an article uh, because of the Colleges of Magic and the time frame that are in. These haven't come about yet. So while those kits exist, they will not be in Warhammer the Old World. So as you can see here from the Empire, in a particularly rough spot to the point where you can't actually make an army with what's there. You physically cannot make anything. At least with the dwarves, you're kind of able to get some infantry. It won't play like a dwarf army, but you can get some infantry and you can play around with stuff. In the Empire section, you can't even really play around with anything. You know, you're basically limited to what a great cannon count uh, sort of conversion thing, the steam tank um, and some lords, and that's kind of it. When you look at what's missing, it's a lot. So you're missing archlectors and grand masters you're missing all these mounts you're missing missing the captain the warrior priest and the master engineer you're missing all of the infantry halberdiers spearmen swordsmen crossbowmen handgunners archers free company uh great swords you're missing all of the cavalry with the knightly orders the demigriffs and the rights guard rights guard obviously won't have been formed yet so they shouldn't be in but huntsmen pistoliers outright all of that not there as well as war machines mortars hell blaster volley guns and hellstorm rocket batteries um, all missing in action on the website. We've no idea. You know, they we we've heard things like uh, you know that the uh, new factions or not new factions, but more core factions will be released soon. But what does soon TM mean? Um, it could be three months, could be six months, could be longer. So you know, how long are the Empire going to be in this poor position? So dwarves not great. Empire even worse. I would suffice to say that maybe Wood Elves might be. They're, they're very, Wood Elves are in a very similar position to the Empire, and High Elves are just a disaster in that there's no, nothing. You can't literally can't buy anything High Elves um, directly off the Warhammer web store today. Uh, so there you go. That's the end of the Empire. It's not good news, I'm afraid, if you're Empire. And in fact, the funny old thing is if you're playing Legacy Armies, they are much better served with miniatures that you can buy right now, uh, it appears, than uh, those core armies with the exception of the Tomb Kings and Bretonians. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments down below. If you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button. It's free for you to do, and it means a lot for me. So thank you for that in advance. You've been watching The Ghost Style. I'll see you all very, very soon.